Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a very short video talking about how affinity is shared between the players and your gear. This is a first part of a multiple video series all about affinity and focus farming. So let's now finally look at how your affinity is shared between your gear. The golden rule of thumb here for affinity gained from pickups, objectives and kills by other players is 25% for Warframe and 75% evenly distributed between the other weapons, so primary, secondary and melee. If you have the fourth weapon, such as the Arch Gun, every weapon will get a quarter of those 75%. When the player kills something with a Warframe, Warframe gets 100% of the affinity. This is why Warframes that kill with the abilities such as Mesa or Saren are so good for farming focus. When the player kills something with a weapon of any type, primary, secondary or melee, half of the affinity will go to the Warframe and half of the affinity will go to the weapon the player has killed the enemy with. You have to remember that the only thing that matters when the enemy is killed is the final blow. Whatever kills it will get the affinity. When you mercy kill an enemy, half of the affinity will go to the Warframe and the other half is going to be lost. Kills with the Railjack turns will only upgrade the Plexus and nothing else, basically the Railjack. Kills with the Railjack artillery, which doesn't count as a Railjack turret, shares the affinity like this, 25% to Warframe and 75% between the weapons of the Warframe. Nothing goes to the Railjack. For the operators and drifters, anything you do with them, killing things using abilities or just watching people kill for you via affinity sharing, will give you 37.5% of total affinity to amps. The rest is lost. When it comes down to companions, there is two kinds, companions with weapons like sentinels and moas, and companions without weapons like predacites, kubros, kavats and so on. How the affinity gets shared between them is quite easy to explain, all the affinity you get by killing things is also gained by your companions. So let's say you kill a Grenier Heavy and get 1000 affinity. This is evenly distributed between the Warframe and your weapons, but you also get an additional 1000 affinity that is evenly distributed between the companion and its weapon if it has one, or just the companion without a weapon. For real, it is not that hard to level things up nowadays. That is it about the affinity sharing between your gear, Warframe, weapons, arsenal, everything else. But there is also something called affinity sharing between the players. The affinity sharing range is 50 meters for the player. You can see if you're in the range by a small symbol on the top right corner of the screen. This is why staying together is very important for the squad that wants to level up things by killing things, such as defense missions on Hydron or Sanctuary Onslaught. The Archwing missions and the open world function a bit differently. In the Archwing missions the range of affinity sharing is about 200 meters and in the open world the range is 250 meters. But you can also increase the range of affinity sharing by quite a lot with something called Phosphor. You can get it from Nakak at Cetus in a form of an endless blueprint. There are two kinds, blue and red phosphor, but the only thing that is different between them is the crafting ingredients. They do not stack, so don't try to do that. Crafting the phosphor in the boundary will yield 20 per craft. You need to get it into the gear and use it in the mission. The range is going to be increased for 2 minutes, from 50 meters to 200 meters in normal missions and from 200 meters to 800 meters in archwing missions. I am not sure about the open world missions, however. But yeah, that is it about Phosphor and Affinity Sharing between the players and this also concludes this video. I will make another one, as I said, a second part about all the basics of Affinity which is going to be a little bit longer but be sure to stay tuned for that. As of making this video, the Double Affinity Booster event is going on so be sure to go grind that out as soon as you can. But for real, thank you for watching and I wish you a very nice day. Bye guys!